Hello my friends. Today I have kind of an interesting proposition for you. Uh, I had the idea of creating video lessons where I teach you something like I often do, but at the end of it, after I teach you how to play it, give you the tab, I ask for you to submit your version of this song. So the, the way this is going to work, if you want your version of the song on whatever scale you happen to have played on my channel, and I can either give you feedback and you can tell me you want feedback, or I can just, you know, put yours out there and people can hear it and enjoy it. I would love to have that. And then you can have other people comment and see your work. And it'll just be a neat way to exchange visibility for something that you're working on. I find that having some sort of feedback system is really useful in growing a community. So let's start with that. So if you want your version of this submitted, um, you can contact me in the details below, send it as a Google Drive link, and I'll get it up. And you can tell me in that email you want it reviewed, or uh, giving you some tips, or just to present it on my channel. So the follow-up video to this will have those on there. So let's learn today's song. All right, so the way I'm going to handle this is I'm going to give you a normal demonstration of the song and then give you the tab as well and I'll leave it as a downloadable file associated with this and then you can create something with it on whatever scale you have. For the sake of explanation I'm going to play it on two different instruments so you can hear but let's take a look. So as you can hear from the video, this is kind of a Celtic feeling song. Um, it's using a six count and we're skipping the second beat in that. So we're counting one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. This count is often associated with players like Daniel Waples. Uh, there's a lot of other players, a lot of my music uses six counts as well. But it's a nice way of breaking out of the sort of four and eight count prison that people put themselves in. So to start off, we're going to be using two hands struck at the same time. One on right hand up on the seven, left hand on the three. And we're going to hit those together. We're going to leave one beat of pause. And then we're going to walk down seven, six, five, four. One more time. Seven and three together. Pause. Seven six, five, and four. If I was counting, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. The same process is going to happen with the two, with the one, and with the center. So when I'm changing that, I'm not changing anything about what's happening up here. I'm only changing the lower note. Two and seven, space, seven, six, five, four. Two and seven, seven, six, five, four. You're gonna do the same thing with the one. And the same thing with the center. So together, just that, the simplified version, seven and three, Space seven six five four seven three seven six five four seven two seven six five four seven two seven six five four seven one seven six five four seven one seven six five four center center seven seven six five four. All right, so you'll notice for the second part, I am playing using the center note with my left hand and starting with my right on the three at the same time. Same, same spacing, center and three. Space, three, four, five, six. Swapping hands so that my right's now in the center and the left is on two. 
center in two, two, three, four, five, center in one, and then I'm space one, two, three, four, five, six, center in three, space three, four, five, six, center in two, two, four, center in one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four. Same thing on a hand pen. Alright, so your task will be to take both of those pieces, play them together, and try to create something with them. When you do it, I want you to try to maintain the same hands if you can, just because I designed this song for that movement. But feel free to add your own flourishes if you're a more advanced player, or add anything you want to it. Again, send me a recording uh, via my Google Drive link, or you can send me the link yourself, and tell me if you want me to give you some advice on it or just present it to people and talk about it in a non-critique sort of way. It'd be a really fun way to share. So, enjoy guys, and I'll leave you with the performance of both of these really quick. some examples with some additions. Here's an example with some additions to it. Here's an example with some additions. Friends, as always, I offer one-on-one -on -one song-based music lessons on both the handpan and the rav, and guitar as well. Um, and you can find me and contact me through any of the links below. And be sure to support my new album, Wild Spaces, on Indiegogo for a chance to enter a lottery for a handpan, a D-Celtic 10, a baby handpan, and also a B-Celtic rav bass. So fun ways to support my new album and get something out of it. Talk to you guys soon.